The worst thing for a parent is to see your child going through something and not being able to fix it for them. As a parent, maybe you've had that feeling before. I know I have. Today on Tell Marvel Life, you're going to learn how you can help parents like Jessica help their children stay alive. This is Astro. Astro is a companion, a cheerleader, but most of all, Astro is Luke's guardian angel. Coming up, find out why being nosy for this pup is a good thing. You're probably nosy when it comes to finding out what's happening in your neighborhood, and that is a good thing, too, because that nose and your curiosity could bring you some money and put some wanted men and women behind bars. Money? Jimmy, did you say money? Mm -hmm. Well, today, we're not just giving away one prize of $200 in Goose Creek gift cards. We're also giving away at least $50 in cards and services to many of Delmarva's businesses. How do you win? Stay with us to find out. And find out what Angie Hicks from Angie's List says are the five red flags when it comes to choosing a locksmith. Something that has me seeing red is when we lose our recipe challenge. Well, not really, <laughs> but I do really like it when we win. Today, we take on Lacey Griffith and Scott Abraham with our five minute recipe challenge. And learning to tie your shoes sometimes seems like such a mountainous task when you're just five years old. So mom, dad, you might want to listen up because today, we put the easy leaps to the test. Did you know the average claim of a deer collision is upwards of $4,000? Coming up, I'll tell you what to do to try to avoid one and what to do in the case of one. No Marble Life starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryan. I'm Jimmy Hopper. Welcome to Del Marble Live from Historic Studio D. Well, I guess it's the first Monday of November, <gasps> and boy, it's, it's, it's like the winter season just hit us. Oh, my goodness. It was all was frosty this morning. So cold mm -hmm. this morning. That was crazy. And you know what else I saw? Hmm? Christmas commercials. They're already really? starting up. They are. Yeah. It's going to be Thanksgiving. Yet. I know. Oh, and don't forget, vote tomorrow. Yes, Election day absolutely. is tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, it took some 20 odd years, but there's finally been agreement on a joint recreation facility somewhere in Kent County. Here's the groundbreaking team with representatives from the Kent County Levy Court and Parks and Recreation and Boys and Girls Club representatives. The Kent County Levy Court and the Boys and Girls Club of Delaware each had been working on separate plans, but they decided to build a joint use facility. Good idea. Yeah. Actual construction on the Boys and Girls Club side of the building is slated to begin in January of next year. <clears throat> Excuse me, work on the Kent County Recreation Center portion kicks off in April. It's nice to see them working together. Working together. For the common good. All right, we want to say congratulations to PRMC President and CEO Dr. Peggy Nalepa. She recently received the prestigious 2014 American College of Healthcare Executive Senior Level Healthcare Executive Regents Award. Now, the award recognizes a ACHE member who made significant lifetime contributions to the advancement of healthcare management excellence and the achievement of the organization's goals. So congratulations, congratulations. to Dr. I Petty. saw her business card. It's, it's about this long. <laughs> um, World Championship Pumpkin Chunkin President John Huber says <gasps> this is going to be his last year. Uh, in an email on Friday, Huber said he was done. Uh, this was the first year the chunk had to cancel before moving location to Kent County, Delaware, just outside the uh, Delaware International Speedway. So yeah. we'll hear more about that. I, I was looking sure. at pictures from last year. It was a year ago today that we were up there at the Pumpkin Chunk and mm -hmm. maybe next year. Hey, movie enthusiasts from across the country are headed to Rehoboth Beach later this week for the Rehoboth Beach Independent Film Festival. It's a five day event and it's held at multiple locations around town, striving to bring outstanding films from around the world. Now this festival started in 1998. And boy, has it grown. Last year they sold over 19,000 tickets selling out wow. almost 59 events. Now if you want to attend the Rehoboth Beach Independent Film Festival. It's November 5th through the 9th. And if you'd like more information, including film times and locations to purchase tickets, go to our website, WBOC.com. Have you got a puppy dog? If you don't, we'll fix that for you. But in the meantime, <laughs> dogs in Milford now have a new place to play. City officials in Milford Saturday unveiled the new 40,000 square foot dog park along the city's river walk. The dog park features covered seating areas, picnic tables, trash cans, bags to pick up after Fido, and water fountains for both pets and their owners. Yeah, that's that's a night. Have you ever taken your dog to a dog park? I haven't. No. No, they just run around the house. <laughs> your house is the dog park. Yes, I probably should fix that. <laughs> okay, now speaking of dogs, even if you are not a motorcycle rider, I'm sure you've probably noticed that when motorcycle riders are out on the road, uh -huh. I've noticed it's usually a low left hand when they wave, but they always wave and other bikers generally that are going the other right. direction. Well, take a look here at Sweets, the biker bulldog, watching closely <laughs> as he's riding with his human, when to his human surprise, they pass another biker and 
Did you see that? Are you kidding me? Sweets, unprovoked, (laughs) lifted his paw and waved at a biker going the other way. Completely unexpected. That's a good biker bulldog right there. Adorable biker bulldog. All right. Well, something else we see on the roads. A ton of deer this time of year. A little later, how to be prepared. As prepared as possible should you come across one in your travels. You might also come across a fugitive that you recognize from our Most Wanted Monday. You're going to find out how your tips can land you some cash. But next, millions of people are diagnosed with diabetes each year, but researchers are making great strides when it comes to curtailing certain types of it. Up next, find out what could be in the next cure, how close they are to testing it in people, and what few simple steps you can do to help. Let's keep talking dogs. Meet Astro. This dog's not only Luke's best friend, he's also his guardian angel. You're going to find out why his nose is key to helping Luke stay alive. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.